Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a crock pot challenge with a bunch of wonderful other YouTubers. So be sure to check the playlist below for a link to where you can see all of their videos. I'm gonna start out by making an artesian bread and as always, the recipe will be in the description box below. This is a very simple recipe that I use whenever I'd like some fresh homemade bread, but I'm too lazy to do all the kneading and that sort of thing that's usually done with bread. This is a no need recipe. We're just gonna mix together some flour, a little bit of yeast and salt and water, and we're gonna let that rise for about 24 hours before we transfer it into our crock pot. I like to line my crock pot with parchment paper just to make sure that it's very easy to get out. And I do recommend doing that so you don't have it sticking to the crock pot. And then I'm gonna put a paper towel over the top of it and underneath the lid so that any water that rises to the lid doesn't fall back down on my bread and make my bread soggy. Then to top it off and give it a nice golden crust, I'm gonna put it in the broiler for just a few minutes just to give it a little bit more crunch on top. I absolutely love this next recipe because it saves my sanity in the morning. I am not a morning person and at 6.30 every morning my kids wake me up with the words, I'm hungry. So this was such a wonderful recipe for them to wake up and to smell pumpkin and cranberry in the crock pot. I am using leftover dinner rolls for this. They're whole wheat, organic pumpkin puree, coconut sugar, cashew milk. Of course you can use regular milk and regular sugar, but I just had these on hand and I wanted to make it a little bit healthier. So I'm gonna mix all of this together and stick it in the fridge just for about an hour, just to let the bread really absorb all of that flavor. And after I pulled it out of the refrigerator, I put it into my crock pot and added my cranberries as well as some milk just to make sure it did not burn overnight. And the next morning, the house smelled so wonderful. So I served this up to my girls with just a little bit of maple syrup and they absolutely loved it. Oh my goodness, guys, this next recipe was my favorite, the caramel apple crisp. This was so easy to make and it caramelized so well. And I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that we ate the entire thing in one sitting. No, I'm not really that embarrassed to say that because it was really, really good. And here is the question of the day, cheddar cheese or ice cream? I am more of an ice cream person, but unfortunately I didn't have any ice cream on hand, so I made up some homemade whipped cream. But I know a lot of people who prefer cheddar cheese on top of their apple pies and apple cobblers, so leave me a comment below and let me know which one you are. And speaking of cheese, the final recipe of this video is the broccoli cheddar soup. This was super good and I made a ton of it. And I used my secret ingredient, which is my homemade bone broth. If you've never made homemade bone broth, I have a very easy video on how to make that as well in the crock pot. But I made some turkey bone broth after Thanksgiving and I used that to flavor this soup with and oh, what a difference that made. I absolutely love any kind of soup that gets all these vegetables into my kids 
and they love eating it. It makes me very, very happy. And to all the vegetables, I am adding some nutmeg and some dried oregano. I grew this in my garden this past year and I was able to dry it out and save it. And I'll also be adding some cream cheese and some of that homemade bone broth. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I am doing a giveaway right now and I will link that video below so that you can have a chance to enter into that giveaway. But I also want to thank Ingrid over at Mommy and Mia Chronicles for putting together this collaboration and don't forget to check out the playlist of all the other YouTubers that are participating in this. And that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description box below for the, all of these recipes as well as all the links that I mentioned. See you next time. Bye!